Good morning. My name's Rochelle. I'm with Green Biz Nursery and Landscaping this morning. I wanted to talk to you about some things that I am seeing in everybody's uh, residential and commercial properties. It's mainly happening on your rose bushes, primarily the knockouts. It is called rose rosette disease. It is a virus that is caused by a small mite that is three to four times smaller than the average spider mite. So typically what you'll see is a very thick stalk, smooth. You can also see the stalk with um, multiple uh, clusters of thorns on them. And then obviously the witch's broom, the abundance of uh, rose blooms. Another typical trait of this rose rosette uh, virus or disease is the leaf. And what you'll see on the leaves are different colors. They're curled together. They're very uh, long, um, thin, just not well looking at all. With the wind, these mites will blow whatever direction the wind is going to the very next rose bush. That is how your rose bushes get infected. Unfortunately, there is no cure for this virus. Once the plant has it, the plant will retain it. Um, typically what we do is we talk to the homeowner, ask them what they would like to do with this plant. We advise that you take the plant all the way out. When you do this, you need to discard it in a trash bag. Do not put it in your compost uh, pile. You need to discard it to the landfill. So typically what we do is we take the rose bush all the way down to the ground and take it out by the root ball. But due to the property that we're on, I can't do that today. So I am going to uh, just prune what I can off of the rose bush. Now, like I said, once you do this, you have to remove it and discard it in a plastic bag, which I do have. Green is going all the way down to the bottom making a 45 degree cut and removing the infected plant. Also what you want to do after you have clipped your rose bush back, because it's infected you need to wipe your uh, clips down with rubbing alcohol. I've got some in my car with a towel and just make sure that you clean both sides. That way you're not transplanting it to your other plants in your yard. Like I said, this is not just um, knockout roses that are affected. This is also affecting all other types of rose bushes that you may have in your yard. If you have any questions concerning this topic, please feel free to call uh, Greenside Up Garden Center. Any one of the ladies or gentlemen there can help you with your uh, your issues. Thank you.